it was a super saturday in the ipl if a 115 run stand between sunil narain and smriti shrana was not enough kolkata night riders found its mystery spinner varun chakravarty coming into the play with a made it fine form and in the evening it was kings 11 punjab who pulled off a thriller uh, by defeating sunrisers hyderabad and with this the tournament is wide open shantadeep uh, if we talk about kkr versus uh, dc what's your hit uh shayan uh, my hit of the day has to be uh, no varun chakravarty uh i i i felt so uh, sad after uh, he was ruled out of of uh, the last ipl and he was picked up by uh, kings 11 punjab with an injury but this time he has uh, got the chance got the opportunity he got the opportunity to prove himself and he is doing just that you know every match uh, we are seeing him coming up with his variations the mystery spin as we call it he has all those types of uh, tricks up his sleeve from the off spinner to the leg spinner to the carom ball to the flipper uh, to the leg cutter he has everything and he can absolutely outfox batsmen with that as we saw today he took five wickets and uh, varun chakravarty has to be uh, my hit of the day what is uh, your hit champ uh for me the key factor for the kkr dc match was a 115 run stand between sunil narin and nitish rana i mean the varun chakravarty did a f- exceptional job no doubt about it but yeah. the fact that if you have a 194 plus run on your board it it evidently puts the pressure on the opponent and and this particular uh team which dc fielded today was not definitely uh, in, in in a great shape in the run chase because uh, it had initial struggles with both the openers ajinka rahane and shikhar dhawan uh, falling early so there was no way that you know uh, they could have uh, done anything differently so it was anyway looking difficult so varun went by the time varun came the match was 90% in kkr's control anyway let's not forget that the kkr had a trouble some outing against rcb where it folded up for 84 and from from that coming there and scoring 194 plus i mean it's not easy it's it's, it's not uh, it's uh, you know it, it is not rocket science but it's not easy mm, uh, and that's where uh, so nitish rana and uh, sunil narain's 115 run stand in the fourth for the fourth wicket is very important because without that partnership i'm sure that you know 194 wouldn't have been possible what about you misses shantadeep Yeah, to talk about the misses, uh, Shah and I'd have to go back to Nitish Rana and uh, Sunil Narain's partnership again. And when uh, Shreya Sayer decided to use Ravi Chandran Ashwin uh, against uh, both these batsmen, so now uh, b- the surface acted very uh, strangely. You know, first it was not favoring sp- spin in the first innings, and then we saw Varun Chakravarty come up with magic in the second innings. Uh, yeah, like if if you if you try out someone and it doesn't work, doesn't mean that you have to go on uh, with the bowler, uh, you know, continuously over after over. So uh, he uh, like uh, I tried out uh, Ashwin in the ninth over, gave him the ball again in the twelfth, and then again in the fifteenth, and we actually uh, saw uh, Ricky Ponting leave it with the decision back in the dugout, and it did not go well. That was a game-changing moment, actually. Uh, if I can call it uh, for uh, Delhi Capitals and Kolkata Knight Riders, both in a positive and negative way, that three overs of a spinner like quality spinner like Ravi Chandran Ashwin went for 45 runs. That was too expensive, and that shouldn't have happened. Chan, what about you? What do you think? What do you think was where DC missed out in the match against Kolkata? I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, concerned about the form of uh, Rishab Pant because. He is such an important player in this team. I know he's. There has been some issues, of course, but 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 what is uh, alarming is the fact that being an Indian cricketer, you expect a lot from him because he's that talent. You know, everyone wants a big innings. He's a big hitter, a powerful hitter of of, of the of the ball. So, you no, know, he come he when he when he walks into bat, there's a excitement, there's a expectations from him. So he hasn't been able to convert the starts. So, if if DC is to make it big and look beyond the the playoffs, Rishabh Pant will have to fire because a fifteen, twenty, ten, twelve will not take him anywhere. 
and let's not forget the Australia series is coming. Uh, but but Shantadeep also uh, it was another very interesting match between Seven Punjab and uh, you know Sunrisers Hyderabad. Nobody thought. I think I think uh, even the even the Kings Seven Punjab players didn't think <laughs> till a certain point of time that they'll be winning it. Yeah. But yeah. you know what what is the hit? Yeah, as you said, the even even the Kings Eleven Punjab players felt that they won't win it. But you know, a moment changed it when you know you have to see the uh, death bowling of uh, Kings Eleven Punjab. We started at a moment when Kings Eleven Punjab batsmen were firing, and we were talking about their death bowling in a negative manner. All the journalists were talking about it. It was being criticised as to how Kings Eleven Punjab has constantly delivered to fail when it comes to death bowling. But today we saw the exact opposite uh, scenario where you know death bowling. Is winning KXIP matches now. Even Rahul, I guess, was taken by surprise, as was evident during the presentation. So, uh, yeah, to talk about that, I'll have to talk about Chris Jordan. Uh, you know, he has been in and out of the team. He had a rough patch, but then, uh, uh, starting from the Super Over day and coming here now, he has been uh, phenomenal, to say the least. He has been a very good death bowler, and today he just set the stage for Harshdeep Singh to come over and take it. The last two. What do you think, Chad? Yeah, you just uh, took the name of uh, the person who is my favorite in this match, Ashdeep Singh, because it was 3.5 overs, 23 runs, three wickets, and with an economic rate of six. It's it's incredible. I mean, you're a youngster. This guy has had a very good outing in the tournament so far. Uh, but having said that, these are the these are the matches that actually, you know, is a test of character. It it shows what where exactly in which league do you belong, and I I have always believed this that this unit, Kings Eleven Punjab has taken time to settle down. But this is a very important phase of the tournament, and this this is where the tables can turn, and and you know this is where a a, a, a player like Ashdeep Singh is very effective. And today he you know actually you saw actually what happened, because uh, you know Chris Jordan is is a seasoned campaigner. I mean you expect a certain thing from him. But whereas Ashdeep is very young, hasn't played, and he's an uncapped player, little experience. So I mean, coming from that, just to back your uh, skills and then executing the plans is not easy. If, if I'm talking, if you are talking about Ashdeep Singh, uh, another great factor about that man is his presence of mind. See, when uh, Vijay Shankar uh, had a concussion test today, and immediately the next ball he uh, gets the wicket of Vijay Shankar. So, I don't know. It was very craftily placed. He cramped him for room. Vijay Shankar had to go for a lead cut, but then he ends up edging it. Maybe the concussion played a part. I am not sure. But yeah, uh, the presence of mind of Ashdeep uh, Singh has to be talked about as well. And and uh, and what about your misses, son, Shankar? What do you feel? <laughs> I have been talking about Kings Eleven Punjab's misses for a while now, and I have always mentioned Glenn Maxwell. See, he has been. Last ODI of his against uh, England, he had come good, but then again, you know, coming into the IPL, it has been a total different scenario. If I am talking about uh, Maxi, so uh, he hasn't been firing. The last game was good, and uh, when asked, uh, when K. Rahul also has been asked multiple times as to why they are uh, constantly, you know, keeping Maxwell in the playing eleven. So that's when uh, Rahul had said that uh, Maxwell has been Maxi has been doing well in the nets. And he's a great team player, so maybe there are factors, and I'm not as qualified as the team management to comment on why a player like Glenn Maxwell should be included in the side. But as of now, I haven't seen anything considerable, and innings uh, from Glenn Maxwell, uh, which makes me think that he should be there in the playing eleven. But uh, just one uh, addition, I mean, before I move on to my miss, is that a Glenn, a player like Glenn Maxwell, you can't ignore because. These are the players, the big match players. I mean, one day in, on their day, they can be very, very, you know, yeah, vital. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just like just like Chris Gale, you saw, like you know, it's not for nothing that he's called the universe boss. Yeah. So similarly, he's, it's not for nothing that Glenn Maxwell is regarded as one of the greatest batsmen. I mean, just the destructive batsman of in the world. Mm -hmm. So of course. But yes, moving on. Uh, my miss is I'm very uh, surprised or baffled, you may, might say, with the. Batting order of Sunrisers Hyderabad. They are not. I don't know what is wrong because uh, there are two teams in this tournament which have some of the biggest names of world cricket, and they have faltered. One is Sunrisers Hyderabad. The other one is Rajasthan Royals. And interestingly, both have Aussies as the captains. I don't know what is wrong. So you have to 
you know come up with a proper order and 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 you know back that because if it's just if you are changing the, uh, the the order a bit too often then this is what the result will be so you know it's it's, it's quite expected but i expected a far uh, balanced uh, setup uh, because of the very fact that it is the side is led by david warner it is cap uh, and it is coached by clever bailies i mean and of course it has some of the biggest brains in its ranks yes uh, bvs lakshman uh, 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 murli dharan brad hadin so of course it's it, it's a little baffling to see such a star studded unit collapsing we have a super sunday and uh, two matches as usual uh, uh, chennai super kings takes on Royal Challengers Bangalore. In an ideal world, it is a match between the two captains, the greatest of all times, no doubt about it. But in 2020 IPL, it is about contrasting uh, results because Mahendra Singh Dhoni. It's the first time you see Chennai Super Kings reeling at the bottom of the table, and nobody, nobody thought that RCB will be at number three. So this is what T20 is all about. So when uh, the two teams meet. As usual, I'll be looking forward to the challenge or the or the contest between uh, Mahendra Singh Dhoni and Virat. What about you, uh, Rajasthan Royals and Mumbai Indians? Yeah, so the second match is uh, between Rajasthan Royals and Mumbai Indians, and uh, I shouldn't say this should be a one-sided contest, uh, but uh, I'll be eagerly looking forward to uh, you know the contest between the MI top order and Jofra Archer. Jofra Archer has been phenomenal, nothing short of Phenomenal in IPL T20, IPL 2020, and uh, you know uh, uh, the, the, there's a system called player points in which you take into account a stumping, a uh, catch, a wicket, short balls taken by a player, and on that leaderboard, Jofra Archer is presently at the very top, and he has been there for quite some time now. So that tells you that man has been everywhere on the field. He has been a proper all-rounder. He has been, you no. Know, Vicious with the bat, vicious with the ball. He has been taking catches. He has been bowling all those dot balls. And tomorrow should be another interesting contest. More so if Rohit Sharma returns. So yeah, uh, that would be my battle within a battle for the second match uh, tomorrow. Uh, 